Hey everyone, welcome back to HackerX. Today's video is a deep dive into Zfisher, one of the most popular tools for demonstrating phishing techniques in ethical hacking and cybersecurity awareness. This video is strictly for education purposes to help you stay safe online and understand how attackers create fake login pages. Please do not misuse the information. Let's jump in. Before we get started, a strong disclaimer. This video is for security learning and awareness only. Misusing phishing tools is illegal and unethical. Never attack or trick real users. Always use these demonstrations in safe, isolated environments or lab setups. So, what is Zfisher? Zfisher is a powerful open source phishing tool used to create clones of popular login pages. Think like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. and more. It's automated, no coding is required, and it's used by red teamers and security learners to see how phishing actually works behind the scenes. Remember, the goal is to understand threats so you can recognize and avoid them. Now, let's get into the part of setting up Zfisher. First, let's walk through installing Zfisher on Linux. For that, we need to prepare the system to be ready for the installation of Zfisher. We need two important tools that is Git and the requirements of Zfisher. Let's log in into Kali. Open your terminal. Make sure git is installed. If it is installed, this is the result what you'll see. Otherwise, install git using the sudo apt install git command. So first, let's update the system packages. And then run sudo apt install git see it says git is already the newest version because i already have git installed on my system if not it will ask to install or not say yes to it and then the installation continues next cloning the zfisher repository open any of your favorite browser and then search zfisher github you can see this first link htr tech zfisher this is the tool that we're going to use this is zfisher you can simply click here and then copy this after that go to some folder create a folder and use it i'll use tools folder that I've created previously and then if you see there I already have Zfisher for now I'll show you what to type git clone and then paste the URL because I already have it it says destination path Zfisher already exists and for now let's remove it Now enter the same command git clone and paste the URL copied link. Move 
into the directory by typing cd zfisher then run the installer but first list what are available and zfisher.sh is our script the zfisher launcher to launch it type zfish bash zfisher.sh it will check all its requirements if internet is there if it is if the packages are updated and it will install its dependencies that are cloudflare mainly so now this runs the setup and downloads required dependencies like curl php and sets up tunneling with cloudflare as you can see for making fission pages externally visible and now coming to the part of using zfisher after installation you'll see this menu where you can see various number of platforms now let's run a basic example with instagram as you can see number 2 is instagram so i chose the option 2 entered number value 2 and press enter and then zfisher will offer templates like here we have four templates like traditional login page auto followers login page thousand followers login page and blue badge verify login page like these things are tempting to any person like for example if you create this page and send it to your friend and say that if you log in here you will get a blue badge or go this is a trick i have you will get 1000 followers again and this is demonstration purposes only never use your knowledge unethically so let's select an option number 3 1000 followers login page and here we are provided to choose we need to use the pop forwarding service here number 1 that is local host local host works only on this particular system that we are running and number 2 cloudflare this can be used for publicly local expose yeah it's public too but here it has a new limit max 15 minutes so what happens here is setting up the delivery now we have chose how to host the phishing page and then here we'll select local host so local host is the only accessible on your computer for demos use cloudflare to generate a public link the tool will output several urls never use this for malicious purposes so now select number 1 and then if we want a custom port as this we are trying out we already know it works so we don't need to give any custom port now let's see what happens if someone visits our demo phishing page i pressed control and clicked on the link if you see here it looks very genuine other than the url part right the url part is so much suspicious it's truly fake it's not instagram at all now if a user types in their credentials zfisher instantly displays the captured info in your terminal window again this shows how dangerous phishing can be let's see let's type this url as hackerx and the password to be you know what to do this knowledge deserves a like like and subscribe so now this is what i typed this is what i entered and i'm clicking submit query see as you can see here the bottom ones if you didn't see just backward the video and look again now this will be taken to instagram page and it seems like we just entered or we did a typo error and it feels like oh we did a, just a simple typo and we are trying to log in again that's it but when you visit the terminal you can see account and password both are visible
So now you see how dangerous it is. So how do you protect yourself? Never click suspicious links or provide credentials on unofficial sites. Always check the URL as I said and look for HTTPS and the correct domain. The best thing you can do is use password managers which will warn if the domain doesn't match. I recommend learning from different courses like CISC, NCSC for up-to-date anti-phishing guidelines. To recap, I take one look at you, you're taking me out of the ordinary I want you laying me down